Hello, 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 my dear friends of the orderly chaos. How are you doing today? Well, another day, another animal from the Chinese zodiac. Today's the tiger day, so we're doing the tiger, the animal number three. Because my question to you is, as always, do you know your Bartze, your Chinese horoscope? Maybe you know the animal of the year that you were born in. Um, but do you know that you have minimum three uh, more animals which are really important for your path in life? The animal, animal sign you're born under in the month, in the day and in the hour. That's why it's called Barza, eight characters, also called four pillars of destiny. So if you would like to know more about them, let me know in the comments. And today, as I said before, I would like to introduce the tiger to you. So if you're born in the years 1950, 62, 74, 86, 98, 2009, or 2022, not yet, um, then this is relevant for you. So yes, next year is a tiger year. So that might be interesting for quite a few of you. The tiger resides in the northeast direction. And it governs most of February and the hours between 3 and 5 o'clock. The a tiger is born under the yang sign. Surprise! And it's born under the wood element. So depending on which tiger you are when you're born, you not only have the wood element with you, but you also get another element. Another wood, a fire, a water, earth or metal. Because you see, we don't have just 12 signs actually. We've got 60 because you get another element on top of it. So that makes five different elements, 12 different animals. So actually we've got 60 different um, um, pillars that are possible in the year, in the month, in the day and in the hour. So you see the Chinese horoscope is way more complex than you may think in the beginning. So yes. Let's have a look at it. And also, you know, what I said to you before, it also depends not just on the one pillar of your year. It also depends on the other three pillars that I already mentioned and which animal do you find in there? Because the tiger, like all the other animals, they had a real life relationships to each other. So a friend of the tiger, for instance, is the pig. It clashes. It's not so much friend with the monkey. So if you've got in your horoscope, in one of the four pillars, a tiger and the other one a monkey, then there might be a challenging relationship. If you've got a pig in one and a tiger in the other, you may have a very harmonious relationship in, in those two pillars. But that's a bit more advanced. Let's just stay for the moment with um, the tiger in itself. Um, so the tiger, what what is it? What do you think? What comes to mind when we're talking about the tiger? The first word that comes to mind for me is courageous. Some say aggressive. Yeah, you may call that. I think for me, outstanding for the tiger is courageous. And this courage is what makes the tiger charismatic and strong-willed, full of energy and enthusiasm. Yes, of course, that's for some people, that's a bit too much and they think it's too aggressive and it's too stubborn and the strong willedness can't handle it. But the thing is that for the tiger itself, that's the strength. So if you can nourish that strength and if you can carry on with that, you know, the tiger is really good with challenges. It's not, he's, he, she is not um, uh, going back to, oh, that seems a little bit too hard for me. They are even just try and sometimes it doesn't work out yeah okay but whatever of course the flip side of that whole thing is of course the tiger is a bit restless so the enthusiasm also can wane pretty quickly because the tiger with the energy you know is always looking for the next excitement so it can wane pretty quickly as in oh that's not interesting let's try something different so that's why the tiger is also prone to have quite different jobs and move a lot, which on the other side gives the tiger a lot of experience. So if you are, for instance, in an employee who has a tiger, the tiger needs to be challenged. If you have an employee that's a tiger, you can't just let them sit and do something. You have to challenge them, otherwise they will leave and they take their knowledge with them. So it's always a question how to handle that. So 
that for the tiger itself, if you are a tiger, it would be really good for you to be a bit more prepared and think things through and not jump from one to the next. Okay, so it's not a question of focus. You can focus. It's a question of being prepared to go through with it. And just um, you would really enjoy a greater deal of success if you could plan things through. Um, otherwise, your life is just a series of ups and downs. And if you ever wondered, why is my life a series of ups and downs? It's because um, the lack of commitment uh, but on the other hand, it's adventurous. You know, it's really, you are adaptable. That is your quality. So you don't wonder if you're just jumping from one to the next. It's also, you are able to pivot, which is at the moment really, really important. But you have to watch out that you don't exhaust yourself too much. So your adventurous spirit, turn that into a job. Research, travel, I mean, at the moment a bit restricted, but oh, travel of the mind travel through books, through a library. So the adventurous nature of yours gives you different jobs and all the experiences. Use that. Use your adoptability. Use your honesty. I know sometimes you get into trouble because of your honesty. I just know that um, there's a lot of people who really, really honor honesty and like honesty. And your bluntness can be a good thing because you know, like when they say, yeah, you're jumping a lot, but your honesty really gets you to the place where you want to be. Um, the tiger does not want to be in a place where they have to hide. It's just not in there. It's just not in their nature because then they become rebellious. So, you know, when a tiger becomes rebellious, they are in the wrong place. They are natural leaders. So they have to lead in something, even if you have an employee who's a tiger and who always wants to be number one and jumping ahead. If you are able to harness that nature of the tiger, you have a huge advantage, huge advantage. Well, yes, the tiger can be stubborn because they think that they are always right. Yeah, true. And a lot of the times they are, but you have to kind of they are not that committed and they will lose interest if it doesn't work out as they think it will be. Um, they are quite sensitive to criticism. <laughs> it's not the, in their best, uh, it's not one of their best qualities to handle criticism. So a bit careful with that one because the energetic tiger can then be a bit, um, how would you say that, um, uncomfortable? But that's okay. The tiger, on the other hand, uh, where you can actually grab them is they like to have a good reputation. They really um, want to have a good reputation and their image is very important to them. So don't corner them, but make them able to come together with you and just with a conversation. They are really good friends with the horse and the dog. So like I explained yesterday already, so we're having a tiger year next next year. So if you have like the combination of tiger, horse and dog, like a, in the horse month and a dog day, for instance, that's a really good, really harmonious combination. So you can use that. So if, so if you are a horse or a dog, or if you are a pig, the next year should be a bit more easier than the last ones because there's a, these are combinations that work really well but of course as always it's not about leaning back and saying hey it's a tiger year I've got a great combination here no no positive tendencies and positive streams need positive action and then they will come to to work out really well so in short the tiger courageous is a very dynamic sign um <laughs> People born in the tiger years are highly competitive and adventurous. So very confident. Um, yeah, they will get things done. So the aggressiveness, whether you like it or not, they get things done. And if they plan good enough and follow through, they can be really, really successful. So they crave the excitement, like yeah, what the tiger is with itself. So if you want to stand up for what you believe um, coupled with a courage and dedication um, that is what they really stand for 
but again, like I said the other day, this would be the case to you if your personality were, would be uh, uh, just relying on that one pillar in your bata. That is not the case. So you will hardly find a person where this description fits 100%. So it could be, depending on which pillar it is, that it they are in their job life, they are the tiger, and their private life, they are maybe a dog or a rat, so not, not that courageous and not that out there. So you see, there are different qualities depending on where in the bats of the tiger appears. So the influence of the other animals and the other pillars are really important. And again, your Barca, the heaven luck, makes only 33% of your luck. The other 66% come from your environment, your earth luck, or what you know probably as feng shui, and your man luck, which is your choices, beliefs, thoughts, and behavior, behaviors. And that is called the trinity of feng shui. And that is what shapes you in the way that you are. And nothing is written in stone. You can change. Definitely over the third pillar, the, the man luck, with choices, beliefs, thoughts, and behaviors. So your Barca can tell you when to change and what to change. And it also can tell you when it's not worth banging your head against the wall, trying to change something. Because it is, in the end, about doing the right thing at the right place at the right time. Today's a tiger day. Be courageous. Be courageous. Try something new. Try something different. That is the day today. Beautiful. Look at that wonderful weather. Have an amazing day. And I see you tomorrow, hopefully again. And tomorrow we're going to have a look into the next sign, which is the rabbit. Are you a rabbit? See you tomorrow. Bye.